Uh, hey, what's up? Javon here. I'm back from Japan. Uh, I'm in my feelings about it. I filmed that back in Japan. It was the day it was raining. There was a typhoon alert going on. There was an actual typhoon, I think. Uh, so I didn't get to shoot exactly what I had envisioned with Kiki. Whatever. And it was it was wet. It was really was not good for my camera, I don't think. I don't think my camera's waterproof. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I had so much fun there that I think I was there for like 16 days. I can't remember. The days start to blur up and up. I don't know, man. It wasn't enough time. There's so much to do. There's so much I didn't get to do. I still wanted to go to Kyoto, uh, which is the older part of Japan or older style of Japan. It's the old capital. Uh, Tokyo is obviously the new one. I was there, but I didn't even get to check out so many things I wanted to see in Tokyo. I think I only got to spend like a day or two in Tokyo uh, of all the days I was there. So, man, I love Japan, for real. It's really cool hanging out with my family and my adopted family. Adopted family, we adopted each other. Um, Herm, Herman, 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 Oman, Oman. German, how, depends on how, <laughs> it depends on who's saying it, it, it's pronounced differently. Uh, we met in high school, he moved in with us uh, during high school and became family and he there in turn extended his family and uh, we're all, we're all one big family now. So it was nice spending that time in Japan with my, my family. I mean, a lot of people are kind of on their phone and there's not really big groups that I see walking around in Japan. It's almost like everyone has their own little world that they live in. Japan is theirs, technically, right? I don't know how to how to portray this thought. Um, like I could just walk out and I, I I'm in Japan and I could just be by myself in Japan, right? Let's say individually. Oh, what am I trying to say? In America, it almost feels like to me we're all kind of connected. We're all living in the same space. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It, it's probably the same all around the world. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just feels that way in Japan where you could be left by yourself if you feel like being by yourself. Yeah, I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyway, I'm gonna put together a preview right now of some things that happened in Japan. Um, I'm still editing all the footage now. I didn't have a computer out there, so I didn't have a chance to edit. So, Jingyang, figure eight, infinity symbol. Okay. Do not step on the toilets. Boom. Right in this spot here, there was a song. There was a band playing this song. Really catchy song, and I want to know what song it is. Um, curious, because it just has a... I don't know. It was very catchy. I want it on my iPod. iPod, what's an iPod? So to follow all my videos on Japan, subscribe now and ding the bell so you get notified when I get a new video out. I'm still editing them, so... So it should be Wednesdays and Sundays. Uh, is when I upload the new videos and I'm still working on other stuff so it's, it's gonna take a while longer to, just to get to it. Um, but yeah, so I have plenty of videos coming up. Make sure you check that out. Also, something that I, I needed in Japan was shipped here after I left to my house. So I didn't get to have it, but here's an unboxing of it. It's a vlogging lens, basically, for my GH5. I have a GH5 here. Am I still recording? If I had the 12 to 35 lens, this one right here, 
It's so light compared to um, the 35 Zeiss that I have up on there. This is super light and without the Metabones adapter. Shut up. Okay, so this is super duper light. It's basically the perfect walk around lens. Uh, it's a 12 to 35 uh, with the micro four thirds sensor that makes it pretty much an equivalent 2470. So this honking beast is, <laughs> this is equivalent to this honking beast. 12 to 35 on a crop sensor, micro four thirds I should say. Uh, and this on a full frame, 2470. There's fried chicken on my lens. Why is there fried chicken on my lens? <laughs> I didn't, I don't, it wasn't me. I guarantee that. I don't know who it was, but I'm sure it was an accident. So this is the F2.8 Canon 2470 L lens. Really good walk around lens. 2470 is such a good focal length to get when you're walking around traveling, you don't want to swap around lenses all the time. This is the way to go. Although kind of heavy. This, boom. 12 to 35, 2470 equivalent, same as this. But it also has power OIS. Image stabil is awesome. Image stabilization. So this lens itself has image stabilization. This does not. And my body, my body, that's not what I meant. My body, my camera body, has five axis stabilization built into it. So what I'm getting with this lens and this camera body is dual IS, stabilization from the lens and stabilization in the body. So giving me double, double destabilization. Woo! Hot. Oh, I did I do that. This combo, perfect walk around lens, perfect walk around camera. Um, that, and I also bought the DJI Ronin S that you might have seen me Google over. Google? Gaggle? What's that right word now? Gaggle? Google? Yeah, I think it's googly. I get all googly. I got googly about? That's not it. I liked... Yeah, the DJI Ronin S, which is a gimbal that I talked about when I went to NAB 2018. Uh, such a good price, $6.99, and such a powerhouse gimbal. So I bought that, but it's in limited stock, so I have to wait for it to come back into stock until I get it. But imagine, uh, this lens, this body, with a super good gimbal on it. I mean, it'd be so stable. My, I don't wanna do a joke. I don't wanna do a Parkinson's joke. So, back on track. This is what I needed in Japan. So light compared to, luckily though, I was able to use my brother's 16 to 35 L, Canon L. All the L's are Canon. Uh, 16 to 35 lens, which did pretty good for vlogging and whatnot. Um, but it was a lot heavier than this, but a lot lighter than my Zeiss 35. Uh, and this is just, it's too close. I can't vlog with this thing. Um, the annoying thing about this lens actually is, so right now I'm at 70, which is the close, smaller body. Going to 24 extends the lens, which then gets you closer to your face and then it's just unusable for any type of vlogging. And then also the crop factor, which makes it, Roughly a 50, I guess. Um, just not usable for the GH5 as a vlogging lens. <laughs> no one even thought to do that. I, I don't even know why I mentioned it. So yeah, I'm gonna go test this out, go vlogging with it, and we'll see the videos coming up soon. Um, pretty sure where I'm headed. Oh, I'm going to Save by the Max. Is that what it's called, Save by the Max? It's like a Save by the Bell theme pop-up. So we're gonna go to that, check out LA, Maybe Universal. Um, so yeah, just check out the future videos. Subscribe and ding the bell. I don't think it reverbs that long. Is it lower tone? Let me know what sound the bell makes. Um, I've never done it before. <laughs> I don't use YouTube that often. I mean, hate me. I don't even like, I think it would be helpful if I watched other people on YouTube and what they do, but I don't, I just don't watch YouTube. I know you do, because that's why you're watching now. But I mean, it's... So I don't know how it all works, as all I'm saying. That's the end of this. Take this around, check out future videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.